Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and something a little bit different here today and today we're going to be doing a product review something very different on the channel and something I've never done before and I urge you guys to give this video a chance because it's something I've actually been trying a little bit recently and something I actually really recommend it's actually completely changed the way I do my business both you know gaming and also editing so I, I recommend you give this video a chance guys and uh, yeah something different on the channel here today and like I said my first time ever doing something like this so hopefully you guys are excited and I drop a like straight off the bat so today we're going to be reviewing a product from BenQ and today we're going to be reviewing BenQ's EX3203R monitor bit of a mouthful but we got there in the end and yeah it's pretty much the first kind of very decent new latest generation monitor I've ever had you know the one I had before was about seven eight years old I mean I bought it about five years ago and even then it wasn't new and I know it was a few years old so for me this was a, a massive step up in the right direction and it's right here in front of my face and it's been a, a game changer an absolute revelation and I cannot wait to talk to you guys about it because it's completely changed the way I game and also edit and I, I don't mean that in any way you know this is genuinely my opinion because I, it's been a, a real big eye opener so um, I want to put a disclaimer out there like I said before it's my first ever review so I'm going to be honest don't expect a massive amounts of detail I'm not a monitor expert I'm going to try and approach this from the, the perspective of someone like myself who doesn't know much about monitors and generally doesn't have much experience with it I'm just going to try and give you guys some key features and some basic details and what you need to know and why this monitor is so so good so let's jump into the review and let's see what this monitor has to offer so straight away some of the key features on the monitor first of all the one that stands out the most for me visually and it's something I had to get used to was the fact it's a 31.5 inch monitor before I had a 24 inch monitor and generally I never thought I'd go above like 27 if I ever bought a new one because I was quite happy with it so this was quite a big size up especially because my desk is quite small it was actually very tight to fit it on my desk but I got there in the end and it was quite interesting at first, you know, really getting used to this because the size really was something it took me a few days to get used to, it. especially playing F1. You know, I was so used to playing in a certain way before and this completely changed it. So for me, this took a little while to get used to. But once you get used to it, it's unreal. It's a really, really good change. And actually, it's fantastic, not just for racing, but also, you know, Netflix and also watching YouTube videos and editing as well is unbelievable because you get so much room, you know, to multitask and workspace on it, which is absolutely fantastic. The monitor is also a two-time quad high definition and has a resolution of 2560 times 1440. And again, that's a massive step up because I was only used to 1080 P gaming, which is, you know, it's 1980 by 1080. So this was a massive step up in quality. And again, it, it really adds to that, you know, expanded screen, uh, great for workspaces. Sony Vegas, especially for me, was a massive, massive difference for editing. So I've got so much more room now and I can have so many more layers in, in terms of videos I'm producing. So a big, big difference there. And the actual quality in itself is so, so crisp. Watching 4K content is unbelievable. I, you know, I, can, I could watch it before on my old monitor, but it would only go up to 1080p. So it's kind of pointless, but now when you watch a 4k video on youtube it's unreal it's fantastic i absolutely love it and whenever i can watch a video in the highest quality i always do now because it's such a game changer and it's so so crisp you know and also rich as well and the detailing the contrast there's so many levels to this and again this was such a revelation to me and it really stood out to me how much i was missing out the second i watched the video for the first time in 4k the monitor itself features a VA panel and also a 1800R curvature. So if you didn't know, the monitor is actually curved. It's a very slight curve. And again, it takes a bit of adaptation at first, but once you get, it takes a day to get used to it. And then once you get used to it, it's actually really, really good. And again, my first ever experience, period, I've never seen a curved monitor in my life. So this was a first for me. And I actually really, really like it. And it's really, really good for those kind of fast spaces on the screen when you're working, especially, again, when you're editing, it really helps because you, things kind of move on the screen much better. It's a lot more fluid. And also with racing as well, which is the key thing about this monitor, this monitor is fantastic for racing games, especially if you're racing in cockpit view, it adds another layer of depth to just cockpit view simulation. And you see kind of things, you, you almost get the effect because of the curve, you do see things in your peripheral vision a little bit better as well, which is fantastic. So really, really good stuff for gaming and especially racing it's a fantastic level and uh, the quality is great there is no kind of major blur and overall it's a very very nice curved monitor 
It also features HDR10 technology, and generally speaking, HDR is a very big feature on the latest monitors because it basically means what you see on screen is a lot closer to what you see in real life, and it does a really good job of actively adjusting images and making sure it's as crisp and as detailed and the coloring and the shading and contrast is all as accurate as possible to real life. And this was a feature that, again, I've never experienced before with my previous monitors and didn't have it, and when I activate HDR on this one, it's absolutely insane, the difference in quality and picture and also the depth and the richness is so so cool and hdr 10 is one of the biggest features on this monitor and in my opinion it's something that i, I was shocked by when i put it on it's such a, it makes such a difference and especially we, i think this is a feature that i noticed especially when i'm watching netflix uh, when i've watched stuff before or films it really adds another level another layer i don't personally like it in gaming that much i prefer using the srgb setting but uh, for hdr when you're watch, just sitting down you know watching youtube watching 4k content or watching movies on netflix it's something that you need to have on because it it, it just levels everything up and for me it makes it look absolutely fantastic Within the HDR mode, you can actually adjust it. So if you do want a game with HDR, you can actually do it. But also there's a HDR cinema mode exclusive as well. So again, you can kind of do whatever you prefer, depending on whatever activities you're doing, and you can run it. And in my opinion, it's unreal. It, it's, it, you can notice it straight away, and it's such a recommendable feature on this monitor. The next feature is very interesting because it's something that I noticed straight away. The second I hopped on the game, I loaded up, F1 2019 with the new monitor and I hopped into time trial and I used the Ferrari and straight away the red color it was so vibrant I'd never experienced anything like before it made me realize how poorly the previous monitor I had was actually you know reflecting that and generally all the colors are very very vibrant this monitor in itself though is fantastic with colors because it features a 90% DCI-P3 coverage just giving you maximum richness of colors covering the majority of the monitor and in my opinion it's something that you will notice straight away it doesn't matter what monitor you're using beforehand you know the second you load this up and you hop into f1 especially when you see the Ferrari the McLaren as well it's unreal it, it, it gives you such a different experience and also Aside from gaming, when you're watching things now, YouTube videos or Netflix, again, that extra level of Christmas with the HDR and also with the enhanced saturation with the 90% DCI coverage, it makes for an incredible experience and the two together work so, so well to really level up the experience when you're watching stuff. So in my opinion, also a massive feature that I noticed straight away the second I, I turn on the monitor, absolutely insane. The next feature is 144 hertz refresh rate and a four millisecond response time, which for me, I think it's been the biggest thing for me, the, 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 the most blow away feature on this monitor because with the old one I had before, the old monitor, I had so much input lag. So for example, if I turn the steering wheel, if I turn it one way, it would take about a solid second for it to happen on the screen I was looking at. And with the refresh rate and the response time combined together with this new monitor, the second I, I turned the wheel with it, the first corner I did, straight away, it was almost instant like it was milliseconds and it's so so it's much more active much more on on the poles it's sharp it's quick and for me the, these two features add to that so with the refresh rate you get a much more smoother experience and you'll notice that straight away if you're scrolling going through tabs uh you know multitasking working scrolling pages changing tabs uh, moving the mouse you'll notice how smooth and how responsive it works you know with the millisec with the four millisecond response time and also the 144 hertz refresh rate and you're going to have a, such a smooth and seamless experience in my opinion and it's something that i noticed straight away for racing games you know because with racing, especially with Formula 1, it's all about those fine millisecond advantages over the competition. And this is such a big feature for me because you can feel instantly and much quickly, you know, much more quickly, if you're having a, you know, the back end stepping out on you, if you're having a bit of wheel spin, you're going to go for a spin, you can feel it just that half a second earlier, you know, just a little bit quicker, that will might just make the difference for you. And in my opinion, it's been a game changer. I've actually got quicker on F1 since I've had this monitor because once you get used to the bigger size and you kind of adapt to that, you then start to really become you know, good with your driving and the finesse starts to, you know, really come in. And uh, with the refresh rate and also the response time, it's improved my driving and I'm actually quicker, which is fantastic. And it's also going to carry over to other titles. And I think I'm looking forward to it, you know, with the extra crispness, the extra depth in color, and also the reduced response time, which is so important for gaming. All of this together adds to such an incredible experience. And this is why it's a fantastic monitor for racing games, period. 
The monitor itself also has an intelligent brightness setting, so you can actually adjust it on the monitor, and the monitor will adjust its brightness according to the time of day or whatever you're doing. So it's also very important, especially when you're multitasking at night and you know you want to try and go to sleep afterwards. It's important to have a much lower brightness level to make sure you know you don't stay up or you know stay awake after you finish working after a long day so a very big feature there in my opinion because it's something that you know for example most mobile most mobile phones have it now so you can adjust that and it will adjust according to the time of day and you can also have it in night mode so it will take out the blue light which is very important and also this monitor you can take out the blue light as well if you if you want to uh, towards the evening so you can have a much easier time and also go to bed much easier so if you're someone that's a night owl you know it does a lot of work from like midnight onwards it's a very good feature to have and something that I personally use because I am a bit of a night owl and I normally go to bed about 2, 3 a.m. So I always have the uh, blue light feature turned on so that that blue light goes off after a certain time. And also the monitor with the intelligence uh, brightness setting, it also means it's a little bit darker as well in the evening when the lights are a little bit darker as well around me. So it's going to be a much easier experience, much easier on the eye and a lot less stress and also much more natural when it comes to switching everything off and going to bed. Another absolutely massive feature this monitor has is AMD FreeSync. Now, this would give you the most seamless gaming experience you could possibly ever have. Unfortunately for me, I don't have an AMD graphics card, so I haven't been able to use it. On recent NVIDIA cards, the NVIDIA team have actually released adaptable uh, FreeSync or G-Sync, what they call it, and you can actually test it out, and I think it has worked for other people. Me personally, I don't have a latest NVIDIA card. You know, I only have a 1060, and I don't have an AMD one, so I haven't been able to trial this feature, but from what I've seen in other reviews and other people and what they have mentioned... If you can pull it off, it's a must because it will ultimately reduce any form of input lag response time and smoothness. It will it will optimize it to such a level that you will just have such an incredible experience, you know, whether it you know in whatever category whether it be gaming, watching Netflix, YouTube productivity whatever it may be you're going to have the ultimate experience so it's something that i hope to get into one day maybe when i get my new pc sometime soon i might be able to actually try it out and i cannot wait but so uh, yeah a huge step in with this monitor guys featuring amd's latest free sync technology and in my opinion if you can try it out for yourselves if you have an amd card or you have a latest a very new nvidia card with adaptable g-sync then uh, by all means go try it out guys because apparently it's absolutely mind-blowing in terms of actual inputs and also technical you know, specifications, the monitor in itself does feature two HDMI ports. It also has a headphone jack. It also features USB-C technology and also USB 3.1. So it will cover all of your needs for any form of peripherals or things you want to plug in. And also quite interesting with the stand on the back of the monitor, which you can't see from the front, which is really, really nice. It actually has a little loop, a little uh, space on the on the actual stand of the base where you can feed the cable through. And it goes into the bottom of the monitor and it's very, very seamless in my opinion. And it makes it very simple to set up. And also for wire and cable management, it's fantastic because it also comes with an inbuilt just a bit of velcro which you can tie your cables together and keep everything nice neat and tidy in terms of the buttons they're all underneath the bottom of the monitor on the right hand side and overall the osd in the menu is very very simple to navigate in my opinion very very easy uh, compared to the monitor I had before it was very complex the buttons are very nice and crisp in my opinion they're very easy to use and once you get the hang of it the menus are very simple to navigate and overall i think it's done a good job of making it very easy to access the settings you want to access and change the certain settings you can go for all the hdr modes you can also activate the brightness intelligence setting you can also adjust from hdr to cinema mode or srgb which is what i run personally on f1 2019 for gaming because it's what i like the most you can also adapt the blue light technology like i said at night or during the day um, and then just the general settings of you know brightness contrast saturation uh blue hues green hues you know the redness you can adjust all of those settings you know like on most monitors and yeah overall it's very very flexible very simple to use and very straightforward also, the monitor in itself does go up and down. It doesn't swivel, but it does tilt, so you can adjust the, the tilt of it depending on your lighting preference and also the height of the monitor as well. So those two settings are adjustable. But uh, for me personally, I run it at the bottom as low as I can get it, and I've got it on full tilt down because I've got a window behind me, as you'll see. So um, I want to try and make sure the lighting set is perfect enough, at its best, should I say. And for me, this setting is perfect, and I find the best balance from it. But overall, just to summarize, I think it's a fantastic monitor. It has all the key features and something that I would thoroughly recommend to anyone out there. Like I said, this is my first ever serious monitor I've ever had. I've been absolutely blown away. I never thought 
the monitors nowadays were this good. You know, I always thought I'd notice a difference, but this has completely shocked me in so many ways, and mostly all of them positive. Um, there is one small negative, which I would say, and that for me, there is a battery pack which comes with the monitor. But uh, then again, I have a battery pack with my wheel, and it seems like most things nowadays seem to have a, a big battery pack, and you've got to try and basically hide it somewhere. Me personally, I've got a nice little compartment which I can put it in. But other than that, that's the only small negative I've found. Other than that, I've got no issues whatsoever, and it's an absolutely fantastic monitor and a really nice bit of kit. It's got a signature 69 curve screen with a 31.5 inch. It's got HDR technology and, you know, incredible image performance. It brings out the best in, you know, movies, videos, whatever it may be. And it supports free sync as well, which is absolutely critical for the optimal gaming experience. And, you know, with the HDR, you're going to get an absolutely unreal experience with, you know, adjusting the setting, getting it right to your liking. And it's going to level up the experience in so many ways with the HDR feature. And like I said, it, you know, a 90% DCI-P3 saturation coverage, absolutely unreal. The colors are so rich. And I said to you, I noticed it straight away with especially those cars like the Ferrari and the McLaren when it comes to gaming. And overall, a fantastic, fantastic piece of kit, guys, with its brightness, intelligent setting, and, you know, the adjustable blue light to really make sure you don't really do any damage to yourself. And, you know, it, it's adaptable at all times during the day to really make it very easy and very tailored an experience for you. And overall, I really, really like it. But, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this review. My first time doing something like this, I tried to keep it very basic, not too much in depth. And the features I mentioned, you can pretty much Google them yourself like I did, you know, to try and understand certain things. And I wanted to keep it very simple so you can understand the key features from an average or the, you know, the casual person's perspective without going too in-depth with absolutely critical details. But uh, yeah, guys, all you need to know, you know, from my experience, like I said, it's completely changed everything from gaming to Netflix. And I would never go back. And I cannot wait to uh, really stress test this. Hopefully one day with a better PC, with an AMD card or possibly NVIDIA G-Sync and try to extract the maximum from this monitor and really enjoy that 4K quality. But guys, that is it for this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below and also leave your comments down below. And I'll try and get back to you as best as I can. And I'll leave a link down below, guys, to the BenQ monitor. And you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Like I said, I really, really, recommend it so go get yourself the monitor if you are thinking about it it's totally worth the price tag in my opinion so much quality and so much bang for your buck and overall it's a fantastic piece of technology so guys hopefully enjoy the video and i'll see my next one very soon thank you for benq for sending the monitor out to me and allowing me to review this fantastic piece of equipment and yeah guys i'll see my next video very soon but until then it's goodbye from me